So you were the player in the 70s in so many different respects. Um, 40 years ago, you made a record-breaking move to Hamburg. You were the best paid player at the time. Do you consider yourself as a trailblazer for the multi-million dollar transfer fees that are happening in modern football today? Um, people say that, but I, I don't consider myself that. I mean, I just played at a time and someone wanted to buy me, so they, they paid the money for me. And uh, I followed a guy called George Best. He was the trailblazer. Um, he was an Irish player who, if you look back in history, was probably finished at about 28, but for, for about eight or nine years, was took football into, uh, into the pop world, if you know what I mean, a bit of time of the Beatles and the air, and that put it on a different, it just became more than just a game of football. And uh, I sort of benefited from him, him doing that, and of course, I suppose the other players have benefited from me. I moved abroad, went to Hamburg, when players weren't doing that and uh, learnt different languages when players weren't bothered about that and so in some ways yeah but I, I don't think about it like that I just played football and, and you know you, you have to go where it takes you to be honest with you and it took me to, to, you know from a uh, little club in England to Liverpool over to Germany and then I came back to Southampton, Newcastle and you know that basically you don't have much control over it other than you say yes or no to, to, to whether you fancy the club that's after you but basically you have to go. Kevin Keegan shoots, and this time it is a goal. It's the beginning of the end. So let's talk about that footballing aspect then. You formed one of the deadliest partnerships in football history with John Toshan. When you look at today's partnerships, do you see any that bear resemblance to yours at all? Not really. Um, it was different. The game was a little bit different in those days, you know, where uh, some teams played with two up front. I mean, you rarely ever see a team now that play with two up front, they'll play one up and one what they call a number 10. But we really did. Uh, because we had good players, I think, we said, right, let's, let's attack them. And Omer away, we used to, we, the players, we had two good wingers as well, Steve Highway and Ian Callaghan. So we were able to do that. You can only do that if you've got the players. We had the players to do it and we were the beneficiaries of that because we got good service. And we had a big guy who was good in the air and we had a little guy who was quite quick. and. Um, I never knocked the ball too quick for him to run because he wasn't the quickest and he never really knocked the ball too high for me because I'm not the biggest. And, and it worked, you know, we did, did simple things well and um, strangely enough, without complicating it, we probably formed a partnership that people talked about but it, there wasn't really anything clever about it other than a lot of common sense. <laughs> 